Okay, let's make some wonderful white pudding. You don't see this around much anymore. It's an absolute beautiful, beautiful product. Starts off with some pearl barley. Skins, we're gonna use ox runners to stuff it in. Now this is my recipe. Leeks, chop them up. Get those skins soaked so they're nice and supple. Pearl barley, get it on to boil. Just as it goes soft, into cold water to stop them cooking. And we're gonna be using beautiful pork bat fat, the leeks, the cooked pearl barley. Now what we need to do then is get that lovely pork bat fat into chunks to go through the mincer easy. And then put it straight through the mincer. You want your pork fat nice and cool because if not, it will just come out as a, sm a smeared mess. So through the mincer, leeks through the mincers on top, then chuck in your pearl barley, give it a good mix up. And that is the basis of the recipe. So in with the flour, and that's corn flour, again, mix it up. And then next we're gonna pour in milk. It's gotta be full fat milk, none of that 2% uh, rubbish or semi skin. It's gotta be full fat, give it a good mix. Now my secret spice blend. I can tell you it's got salt in, pepper in, celery salt. That's as far as I'm going. Put the whole mixture into your sausage stuffing and stuff it into those ox runners. You can see you need those ox runners to get a nice thick horseshoe. You can use hogs casings. Uh, once you've done it, tie them up. Real neat trick of tying them here to get those uniform horseshoe shapes that they traditionally come in. White and black pudding both come in these. This is a real neat way of doing them. It keeps it all together, one piece of string. And the beauty is, once they're tied, you can pick them all up and put them in your boiler. Now your boiler, you want set to 90 degrees. So give them a swill and get them in your boiler. Now, you want it in 90 degrees, no more. You want them to just gently tick away for 35, 40 minutes. After that, get them out of your boiler and then put them straight into cold water. This will stop the cooking process. Once they're cooled, cut them into individual horseshoes and there you have it. Beautiful, traditional butcher's white pudding. And what a picture it is, flavor. It's fantastic. Cheers.